Good afternoon folks, uh, Jason here with a, a new unboxing video, I haven't done one properly for a little while uh, and I've not had one of these before but it is this month's Geek Gear well, I'll show that better, the light, sorry about the light on the, uh, the box there reflecting um, turned up reasonable condition, there's a little bit of a ding in it so I hope the stuff inside isn't messed up but we shall soon see. I really like the uh, the concept of these crates because it looks like a crate. Anyway, uh, nice little pull tab on there, so you don't have to worry about how to open it. Nice and simple. And let's have a look, see what's inside. Now I'm not going to look because I don't want to know yet. Oh right, we're going to leave that to last because that looks like it's a pop. And we have a t-shirt. Let's have a gander at this. <laughs> well, that's different. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not quite sure to make of that. That's kind of cool. I'll stand up a little bit so you can see it properly. There you go. Pretty simple, but quite nice, and it's different. I've not seen anything like that one before in the Star Wars, so that's a, a definite keeper. I'll stick that on my laundry basket for now. There we go, that's that one. And it, yeah, it, I meant to, should have said actually, this is the reason why I got this, it's all Star Wars related. Um, I think it's their take on the, the uh, 40th anniversary. Uh, for those of you that aren't educated in Star Wars, 1977 was when Star Wars came out, so yeah, 40th anniversary. Alright, see so what else we got. A... Alright, oh, okay. The wristbands. Probably won't keep those, they're alright. Um, one's got the... Star Wars with the Rebel logo on there. I'll show the back as well, as you can see. And the other one's just got Boba Fett written on it in these sort of colours. Uh, little picture of him on there as well. They're all right, but kind of throw away. Um, that may go in another box, I think, at some point. Okay, let's see what else we've got. All right, oh, yet another key ring for me. We've got loads of these things now. But R two D two, it's quite nice. Um, I might use that because my uh, Millennium Falcon one seen better days and it's, it's uh, looking a bit tatty now. So yeah, it's actually all right. It's, yeah, it's, it's embossed a little bit or engraved, depending on how you, what you want to call it. That's all right. Not bad. Can't honestly remember how much this cost me off the top of my head. I think it was about twenty quid. Um. What I will do is I'll put a, um, a link in the description below for Geek Gear so you can have a little look and go and see yourself if there's anything you fancy. They do um, a wizardry box, um, which I believe is what Potter Geek gets. Uh, if you want to see what's in that as well, I'll put a link for uh, her channel so you can go and sort of see the sort of stuff they do. Um, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, but you know, if you if you're into it, they look like they're quite good boxes, so worth checking out. Anyway, our next item is all oh, right. Okay, the sticky notes. So a bit like the um, post-its, that sort of thing. You write stuff on there, you stick them up. Obviously, we've got First Order, Stormtrooper, and Millennium Falcon. Yeah, again, they're all right. Not too fussed about, to be honest. What else have we got? We have ah, <laughs> I actually saw one of these in a shop. Well, the nice notepad. The old uh, was it lenticular? I think they call them down there. I've got posters like that with the sort of 3D effect. Quite nice. Um, this will probably get used because. Um, I do sort of like keep notes for my 
channel and stuff and various other bits and pieces and collectibles and whatnot. So yes, that that could well get used that one. Um, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, hang on, still more to come. All right, what's this one? All right, we have a. Well, I suppose you'd call it a. Yeah, it's a stationary set. You've got a ruler. I think you've got a couple of erasers in there. What does it say? Um, a couple of a pen and a pencil. Looks like. Um, again, not that really that bothered about it. It's all right. Nothing amazing. Uh, okay, let's keep digging. It looks like there's quite a few bits and pieces in here. Alright, that's a spoiler book, so we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, we'll take the pop, because I know what that is, to an extent out. Um, but I'll have a look at that last. Oh! Oh, well what's this? I think it's just a print of some sort. It says that it's exclusive. It's Darth Vader himself. Uh, I'll have to have a look at that more in the uh, in the booklet. See what that says that is exactly. But that's uh, kind of interesting. It might be worth putting in a frame some Rogue One ok so yeah not bad not bad and then lastly I think this is the last thing anyway just to double check before I look at anything else yeah yeah that is it nothing overly special about the box inside <coughs> not like some of the others do and we have lastly ah our first order Stormtrooper well, I don't actually have this one. He's a little bit dinged, which I thought he might be, but it's not too bad. You can see that there. I think that's mainly it. Maybe a little bit beaten up. Oh, the box is... Yeah, no, this is horrendous. That's bloody awful. That's disgusting. So I'm going to get in contact with them and, and complain about that because that box is horrible. That's a really, really awful box, which is a shame. There we are. Well, I have to say I'm not, I'm not overly impressed. It's all right. It's it's throwaway chat. I I don't know that I'll bother getting another. But anyway, let's let's let's. Have a look at the book and see what they say. So, um, there is the book. Dark on the front. Just says, a massive thank you for everyone at Geek Gear for subscribing to our amazing Geek Gear subscription box, April Geek Gear subscription box. You might have noticed we are making a few changes, uh, uh, sorry, we are changing a few things with our Geek Gear box which we'll explain in detail in our brand new magazine which is what I've got in my hand. I uh, hope you enjoyed our fantastic Star Wars themed box, thank you. Right, so, just saying about the magazine, I'm not going to go all the way through that. But those are various people opening up the boxes. <laughs> I do beg your pardon. <laughs> Didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, something about Game Con in Aberdeen, which is on the 29th and 30th of July. Never heard of that one. I'm not going all the way up there for that. Uh, next month is Power Rangers Box. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Um, so, we we'll receive one of these two awesome First Order Troopers. So it could have got the one that I got, or the uh, Snow, uh, is it Snow Trooper? 
Yeah, I think it's a slow trooper. First of all, the slow trooper. Um, that's all right. Uh, you have the stationary set, the key rings, and you could have got all number of manner of those. Uh, I got R two, which is probably the better one. You had Yoda's head, uh, Millennium Falcon, Chewbacca, C three PO, Boba Fett helmet, and uh, Darth Vader helmet. Um, yeah, they're all right. The yeah, the 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 print uh, you apparently you can't get anywhere else, but it is just an art print. It's nothing spectacular. Um, then you got the T-shirt, which I showed you. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, it's basically saying about the the uh, some other prizes that are available. If you're subscribed, you have to use the I Love Geek Gear on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram and show a picture of yourself and your favourite item from the box to win a chance of getting either a Death Star Moonlight or uh, looks like a Rogue One, um, is that Lava Lamp or something? I'm not quite sure what those are, but anyway, that's what you can win by doing that. I probably won't bother because I wasn't that impressed. Um, all right, oh, we have someone to check out. A lot of you may know her, what I'm subscribed to. Lady Noob, who's featured in the magazine. Good on you, girl. Um, it's a crossword puzzle, you enter that because, no idea, and that's it. I suppose it's an alright box, the t-shirt was good, you did get a pop, which, you know, either of them are cool, but as I say, the box is severely damaged, so um, I'm going to complain about that. They don't seem to answer anything on, on Facebook though, so... Whether I'll get any joy or not, uh, I don't know. I'll keep you updated on that. The art print is nice enough, but it's, I wouldn't say it's anything overly special. Um, you could probably pick that up in a shop, right? I know they say it's exclusive, but I'm sure you probably get something very, very similar if you hunt around. Um, stationary set, nah. Key ring, yeah. Those now, then pitch. Um, the books are right, as I say, that probably get used, but I've seen them in the stores. You you probably got your money as well, but it's it's nothing, you know, for something that's supposed to be celebrating Star Wars. It, it's very very average. Uh, like I said, I don't think I'll be getting another one from them if that's the sort of level of stuff they do. Not really very impressed at all. Um, yeah. Anyway, folks, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like the video, regardless of what you think of the contents of the, the box, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. Write some comments below. Ring the old bell for notifications. Hit the subscribe uh, button, please, because we're up to 65 now. Um, speaking of which, if you haven't already entered my competition, please do so. Uh, I'll put a link for that as well down below. Um, I've got to remember all these blooming links now. <laughs> I have to watch it back and do it. Um, yeah, and uh, please tell everybody that you know to, to join up. Um, it means a lot that we get more subscribers, um, and hopefully, maybe one day. I'll get boxes like this for now, and uh, you know, a few freebies, freebies is a good price. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much, and I shall catch you later on in the week. Take care now, bye bye.